Item number SCP-744-ARC. Index Rust Monster. Object class Keta Neutralized. Special Containment Procedures. SCP-744's remains are to be stored in a reinforced fiberglass containment area surrounded by at least four 35 Tesla electromagnets. In the event that power is cut to the electromagnets, standard Keta level facility destruction procedures are to be initiated. The location of the containment facility must be at least 200 to 00, 00 kilometers from any nearby city or industrial installation, as SCP-744's strength and robustness increased exponentially with its consumption of metal objects. SCP-744's remains have shown no signs of activity since neutralization. 015281 speculates that further irradiation of the remains may prevent any possible regeneration by the remains of SCP-744. Description. SCP-744 was a vaguely humanoid amalgam of decaying scrap metal and oxidized iron, measuring approximately 33 meters in height and calculated to weigh at least 325,000 kilograms. The entity managed to offset its constant state of decay by ingesting any nearby metal objects, after which the mass of the absorbed object was integrated into its physical makeup. Absorption of metal objects seemed to augment scp 744s strength and resistance to physical harm. SCP-744 displayed remarkable physical strength. When confronted with an M1 Abrams deployed in an effort towards containment, it struck the tank with sufficient force to flip it over entirely, at which point it was consumed by SCP-744. Bullets and artillery rounds of varying caliber were absorbed directly. Due to the entity's unexpected appearance and the danger it posed to the civilian populace, Mobile Task Force Omega-7 was dispatched to contain SCP-744. Incident Log 361. Incident Log 361. 0912 hours. Reports began coming into Site-19's monitoring station of the emergence of a rust monster from a scrapyard located near 31 degrees north, 85 degrees west. National Guard dispatched under the pretense of a natural gas fissure. 0942 hours. Existence of the entity confirmed. M1 Abrams tank moves in and attempts to neutralize the entity. 0945 hours. Entity finishes consuming Abrams tank. Noticeable growth evidenced. National Guard retreats. Containment procedures begin. Entity given designation SCP-744. 0949 hours. SCP-076-2 requests that Mobile Task Force Omega-7 be dispatched to neutralize a threat. Overseer 05 approves request. Evacuation of nearby civilian structures begins. 0953 hours. Omega-7 begin containment operation. SCP-076-2 accompanied by Agent Tr Omega-7008 and Redacted move in to ascertain SCP-744's structural composition and evaluate any weakness. SCP-105 provides a backup through a high-resolution image taken of the area by an SR-71 belonging to the Foundation. Members Omega-70014, Omega-70015, Omega-70019, and Omega-70020 are equipped with HK-016 compatible magnetized plastic rounds and deployed 250 through 300 meters from the target to contain its movement. 0955 hours, Omega-070008 and SCP-076-2 enter combat with the entity. SCP-076-2 materializes eight Swyander style two-handed sword. 0956 hours. Upon seeing SCP-744's apparent instinct to devour the weapon, audio recordings indicate that SCP-076-2 yelled a classical Greek phrase believed to be SCP-744 takes advantage of SCP-076-2's lack of movement and strikes him with its right fist sending SCP-076-2 flying approximately 400 meters and rendering him unconscious. Note, this was the first recorded instance of SCP-076-2 speaking in Greek. Follow-up evaluation has indicated near-complete fluency. 0957 hours, Omega-70008 engages SCP-744 in combat. SCP-744 attempts to strike Omega-70008 but misses. 
Omega 70014, Omega 70015, Omega 70019, and Omega 70020. Fire on SCP-744 with little effect. 0958 hours. Omega 70008 inflicts severe lacerations to the legs of SCP-744, causing it to stumble. Omega 70008 then disengages under orders of Overseer 05, owing to the potential for SCP-744 to absorb SCP-193. 0959 hours. Lacerations on legs of SCP-744 spontaneously heal. Significant decrease in entity's overall size noted. 10.01 hours. SCP-105 remotely administers 20 cc of an adrenaline ketamine solution to SCP-076-2. SCP-076-2 regains consciousness and recommends military action against SCP-744. SCP-076-2 re-enters combat. Overseer 05 recommends the use of thermobaric explosives against SCP-744 based on statements made by SCP-076-2. 10.07 hours. Overseer 05 informs SCP-076-2 that a suitable location has been found for detonation. SCP-076-2 disengages and begins to taunt SCP-744, causing SCP-744 to charge towards SCP-076-2. SCP-076-2 then begins to lead SCP-744 to designated detonation area. 10.58 hours. SCP-744 arrives at designated detonation area. 10.59 hours. SCP-076-2 delivers massive blow to SCP-744's legs, severing them at the entity's hip. SCP-076-2 quickly retreats and calls for detonation. 1100 hours. Fuel air thermobaric explosive detonated. 1109 hours. Fallout clears. SCP-076-2 asserts containment of SCP-744 and secures its four remaining pieces. 11.30 hours. Disinformation Office releases news of SCP-744's destruction under the guise of a tornado and the resulting explosion as a result of an accident at a sugar refinery. 